So let me begin with the partition, first partition of Bengal. That happened in 1905. 1905, when the first uh, murmurs of the independence movement had surfaced. Lord Curzon was the uh, viceroy of India. He decided that one way to combat this thing would be to drive the Hindus and Muslims apart. So in order to do that, he split the Bengal province of the Bengal presidency into two parts. One part remained Bengal, that is the western part, which would be Hindu majority. And the other part, he joined to Assam. It was called Eastern Bengal and Assam. This was an anti-Hindu move because the entire Hindu, the freedom movement in Bengal Including, uh, including the terrorist or the, including the armed movement in the beginning and the subsequent Gandhian movement in the 1930s and 40s, were both confined practically entirely to Hindus. Whereas the 1947 partition was a pro-Hindu partition. This is a difference that a lot of people don't appreciate even in the state of West Bengal, so I'll uh, uh, presently come to. Now, the 1905 partition which took place, to which I have called an anti-Hindu partition, it was repealed in 1911. And uh, simultaneously, the capital of India was shifted from Calcutta to New Delhi. Then after that, Bengal uh, remained uh, one province, but at the same time, uh, the British quietly went on engendering enmity between Hindus and Muslims. It was there. It is not as if it wasn't there in the beginning. But the British went on giving more and more fuel very uh, surreptitiously, very succinctly, with the result that over the years, relations really got bad. Then after Jinnah appeared in the scene in 1930s and Congress made such horrible mistakes with Jinnah, like for instance, going back on their promise in the UP elections, then the Congress uh, failing to make a uh, coalition with Fazlul Haq in 1937. Then one thing led to another, and eventually we came to 1947. In 1947, uh, by March, uh, the Congress had conceded partition. Before that, the Congress was the resisting partition, and Jinnah was demanding partition, and uh, Mahatma Gandhi tried all kinds of things, but right through the 1930s and 40s, all these steps that the Congress had taken. One of them was a personal a step personally taken by uh, Gandhiji when the rest of the Congress leaders were in uh, jail. This was the Gandhi Jinnah talks of 1944, which was a very suicidal step, I would say, or on the part of Mahatma Gandhi. So anyway, we'll not go into it, but in 1947, May, March, the Congress had conceded partition. 